Hi, my name is David Meisler Cuban, and I'm the CEO. Uh, I'm Elizabeth Bettner, and my position is the finance person and slash photographer slash game inventor helper with. Hi, my name is Jay Cooper, and I'm a co-founder and also the web developer and videographer. idea that was pitched during that and went over and uh, forced myself to join the team and with our original founders we, we uh, made it through the weekend and we won first place and ever since then uh, Jay Cooper and myself have been unable to let this go so we went through venture school and We've kept it alive since, and now we've got a new team. And now we're iterating with different MVPs and ideas, and hopefully getting great feedback as we move forward with that. Well, my good friend Jay approached me about um, wanting someone to keep track of money and spreadsheets for this potential company because he knows that I really love spreadsheets and I love organizing things. So I was quite pleased with that. Well, my story in getting into this company is a little bit like uh, David's. Uh, we both attended Startup Weekend, where uh, we won first place um, back in 2015. And uh, I actually was a little bit responsible for getting this thing off the ground. I wasn't the idea guy, but I actually kind of nudged the idea guy into, um, into actually pitching the idea for date nights delivered to you at home. Um, I originally wasn't going to pitch the idea, but uh, it sounded like a pretty solid idea and kind of nudged him, said, you know, go up and pitch it. If, if no one likes it, no one likes it, no one will work on it, but if people like it, there probably will be people that that will work on this thing with us. And, uh, and he went up and pitched the idea and Ended up getting one of the highest number of votes in the group, so of course it went on during Startup Weekend, and uh, you know, worked on it all weekend. Ended up getting first place, the, the pitch competition at the end, and and for the past year and a half, David and I and uh, our other co-founder worked on it with us for a while, but uh, he decided to step back, so David and I just continued on. We've kept building the team, and uh, and here we are. Wow, I don't even feel like I'm running it. Um, I feel like I'm more project managing it. I don't really feel like we're... Well, we're not a company. So... I guess the same old, same old communication, organization, um, being ready and willing to take calculated risks, being creative. Um, yeah, I don't really have any amazing insights. It's about to just keep pushing along, keep testing new ideas, keep listening to what people have to say, and iterating and checking the information, the data, and changing as needed. There's a lot of different parts to it, and I mean, everything matters equally, kind of, but at the same time, like you need to make sure that you're providing something for people that they want that they need. Probably the biggest thing that I've taken away from being part of a startup is just how quickly things can change. So when you're in, I guess when you're in the corporate world, uh, things don't really move around that quickly in a lot of companies. And that's just kind of the way a lot of corporations are. Things move slowly and carefully. And when you're, when you're running a startup, you've got to move a little bit faster than that because 
you're getting feedback left and right and people will tell you one thing and then you'll get another group of people and they'll tell you another thing and you've got to be able to kind of roll with the punches.